CC Cycle 2, Week 13. My name is Kristen Gibbs, and we're going to go ahead and get started with um, some of our memory work and tutor ideas. What we did in my class is we started off with math, and we did liquid equivalents. I brought into class all of those measurements here. I started off by showing the boys and girls that this was one fluid ounce, and um, that there's eight of them that equal right here one cup. And so I brought in one cup. Then we had two cups equals one pint, and then we had two pints equals one quart, and here was that one quart, and then four quarts equals one gallon. And so I brought in those, and we sang the song to Happy Birthday, and that went eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, four quarts equals one gallon. And then I lined them all up on the floor and we went eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, one, two pints equals one quart, four quarts equals one gallon. And so they got a visual experience with that and, the, and with song. And then um, if you wanna take that even further, you can also pour the water and watch it flow. Uh, we went ahead and jumped on into English. English I did in this entire song with weeks um, 11, 12, and 13 is all to the same song. And I did Oh My Darling Clementine. And so if we're starting in the middle of the week 12 is where the song starts. And so that goes, a uh, few, many, more, most, neither. And then you get to go to the other part, which is nobody, none, one, other, several, some, somebody, someone, and such. And so that was English. And also to show that with all of them, all of the indefinite pronouns, where we start is right here with few, and that is with week 12. So it goes, Few, many, more, most, neither. I'm sorry. Few, many, more, most, neither. Nobody, none, one. Other, several, some, somebody, someone, and such. And if you put all of them together, indefinite pronouns. All, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything. Both, each, each, every. Uh, both, each, either, everybody, everyone, everything, few, many, more, most, neither, nobody, none, one, other, several, some, somebody, someone, and such. And those were all of our indefinite pronouns. Moving on to the next part. Um, oh, and also, just in case you wanted to see the liquid equivalents. I get this from CC user Keppel, and that's K-E-P-P-E-L. The next thing was we went on into our science and we did what are some names of U.S. space missions. Some of the hand motions that we used were Mercury going up, we did Gemini going over, Apollo, we did our walking feet, and shuttle, we came back down. And that is a picture of all of those. We did this to the song, Father Abraham. What are some names of US space missions? Mercury, Gemini, Apollo shuttle. What are some names of US space missions? Mercury, Gemini, Apollo shuttle. So while the all the boys and girls were doing those hand motions, going up, over, walking, and then coming down, one child was able to hold the astronaut little backpack and they, um, a lot of them went up then they went over, they used the feet and started walking. And then they thought this was really fun was to take the astronaut and dive it and drop it into the ground. And it was a, um, uh, a, a space uh, landing and we called it a face landing where the face of the astronaut hit the ground. So it was a lot of fun. They had a great time with that. And that was our science. Next, we moved on to geography. Geography, we did this to the song of Baby Shark, but I didn't have any shark goldfish. Um, you can use just little goldfish and then put them on the map to show them where the Northern European countries are. 
And so what I did is I had whales, uh, goldfish snack whales, and we did it to um, little baby shark. This whale was swimming. And um, some people even said it was a narwhal because they're going over here to Norway, narwhal. And then it was sweet, Sweden. It's so sweet to be in Sweden because you're in the middle. It's so sweet in the middle. Um, and then Finland, it looked like the fin of the shark, Finland and Denmark. Um, it was like three of these sharks are going to eat Denmark, X marks the spark, spot Denmark. And so this was Northern European countries, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, a baby shark or a baby whale or a baby goldfish. And they had a lot of fun with that. So Northern European countries, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, a baby shark. Show me where Norway is. Show me where Sweden is. Show me Finland, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Northern European countries. Show me, tell me. Then we moved on to our history. We did a pat and a clap, pat and clap. I also had the train whistle that um, I was using and because we are learning about the Watts steam engine. And I brought in a little choo-choo train, my son's little choo-choo train, turned it on and it, um, well, it did work. There we go. And so it actually has wheels that move. And so it would go across the floor and we try and sing the entire song with the duration of the train moving from one child to the next child. And we had to be finished with the song before the train reached the child. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and then while the other kids, while we were singing the song, it would go, um, it started off. Cartwright's power loom and Whitney's cotton gin spurred the industrial revolution that began in the 1760s. You can also make up hand motions if you don't like the patting and the clapping. You can do Watstein engine and then Cartwright's power loom, Whitney's cotton gin spurred the industrial revolution that began in the 1760s and to show those pictures here showing the, the steam engine the power loom and the cotton gin and then the next thing we did was latin latin at christmas time i ended up finding some of these little tiny gifts at the dollar tree and they're just little tiny presents and then each child was able to get a present and I saved them and this helps us know that we are in the present tense and we pass the present and say oh a present for me oh and then we would sing our song for O S T mustis and O S T mustis and O S T mustis and first conjugation present tense Oh, a present for me. And that was our Latin. And here are those um, O S T, mustis ent, first conjugation endings, present tense. Um, I also, for science, use these science cards, which go into detail, which is really nice. Um, but I normally do that at home with my little girl, uh, not during memory work time. But we're moving on to timeline. We're starting off with the um, timeline cards. Age of exploration, circa 1400 to circa 1600. Prince Henry founds School of Navigation. Slave trade in Africa. Gutenberg's printing press. Songhai in Africa, Sir Ivan the Great of Russia, the Spanish Inquisition. And we had motions to this. 
age of exploration, circa 1400 to circa 1600. Prince Henry founds the School of Navigation, slave trade in Africa, and then put your hands behind your back. And then we have um, Gutenberg's printing press, Songhai. We're going to pray Songhai in Africa. Surviving the great of Russia, the Spanish Inquisition. So that was Age of Exploration, circa 1400 to circa 1600. Prince Henry founds the School of Navigation, slave trade in Africa. Gutenberg's printing press, sung high in Africa. And we just bring our hands out. Surviving the great of Russia, the Spanish Inquisition. And that was our timeline. Then for fine arts, um, we are doing art and we studied Rembrandt. With Rembrandt, um, we had uh, portraits, painting portraits, using this as our guide. Um, some of the portraits that we noticed they um, showed the lighting. So if the light is shining from this side of my face, this side of my face has shadow. You can see there's even shadow right here. See how it's dark here. We also talked about his life. We talked about how he's known for his first name. We also talked about crafts. When you do a craft at home or somewhere, crafts normally all look the same but artwork is different. It looks different and is unique. We talked about how he paid attention to detail and um, we also talked about he was known for um, doing a selfie of himself and put himself in um, photos. And, um, and so that was about Rembrandt. We also did uh, talked about vertical lines and horizontal lines, vertical. The V makes a V and the lines go up and down. And H has a line that goes across. And so that's how you can know that horizontal is going this way and vertical is going this way. And so um, we d went ahead and went on to our science. And with our science, we talked about the uh, we did two experiments, actually. We talked about sound waves and the properties of sound waves. Um, we also talked about amplitude frequencies. Amplitude is how high um, with the peak and frequencies are uh, the length. And then we talked about how on the glass there was friction on the rim, which created sound waves and it vibrates the glass molecules. We also added water to the glass, which created a, a lower pitch sound. Um, we added vinegar to our hands, which created acidic acid to the finger, and it helped it ring, which was cleaning the glass or removing the oil from your finger. Um, and this um, created vibration. Then we went on to the spoon ball, and the spoon ball was we sang our scientific method song, which was scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, analysis. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Scientific method is question, research, analysis, experiment, uh, analysis, conclusion. I'm sorry, Miss Kristen forgot that right now. I'll have to update you on this song. Um, but we also talked about um, science, to know God and to make him known. Not every exper experiment is going to work. Science is about asking questions and then conducting experiments and controlling your environment, eliminating variables and controlling them. So sound waves are generated um, and move. There's the peak, the amplitude, which creates the loud and the height. The frequency is the time period. And then we have the peak and then we have the trough. We talked about low frequencies. And what we did was we wrapped a spoon with a piece of string. We took the ends of the piece of string while the spoon dangled, 
put the piece of our uh, put the piece of string with it wrapped around our fingers into our ears and then we hung the, the spoon and then we hit the spoon onto a table a chair different objects and we heard it ring and it was amplified and it sounded like a church bell it was a beautiful sound actually and we talked about how the vibrations traveled through the string down the string and so um, I also had the children on all of their papers um, write and draw in their science books um, the uh, the different sound waves and then showing the peaks and the troughs um, as an example to draw in there. Um, uh, and then they also drew a cup or a glass and the spoon and string. And that was what we did with science. We had a great day today and I am looking forward to seeing y'all again next week. Bye.